there's a real possibility that in the new world, the new heaven and the new earth, animals are present. Hi, I'm Dr. Chuck Betters, and I want to welcome you to Ask Dr. Betters. I hope you'll visit our website at markinc.org. And there you will find a whole variety of resources uh, from Ask Dr. Betters and from some of the other ministries we offer to you. Uh, one of the features of this particular program is that we want to answer questions that maybe you'll never hear the answer to in church. Questions that kind of uh, drive our emotions. And one of them is the question about pets. I know that people love their pets. Uh, we used to be pet owners and uh, we loved our pets and it was very difficult uh, to put them down when we had to put them down. And I know that many people can identify with the pain of losing a pet, especially young children will ask the question of whether or not there are pets in heaven. Will they be able to see their dog or their cat or whatever uh, in heaven again? And I know this is probably not a question that most people are asking, but a lot of folks who truly love their pets uh, will raise the question of, well, what happens when I die? What happens when the pet dies? Will I see my pet again? Now, strangely, the Bible is silent about whether or not we will ever see our pets again, uh, because there is a, a division, if you will, between uh, the animal world and the human world. God made that division very clearly when he created the heavens and the earth. For you see, he created the animals first. And then from them, uh, he put man in charge. That is, man was to subdue the earth, to rule the earth, and that included the animal world. But what happened was the fall took place, and so did death. When the fall came into the, into the existence of God's creation, so did death, and that included the animal world. And so today we see that certain animals cannot be with other animals because there is a, a natural tendency for the animals to uh, want to either be hunt hunters or whatever. And so we find in our pets uh, that there is a distinction, a difference between a, a dog and a person. Now, we know that we are created in the image and likeness of God and what makes us different from the animal world is that we have souls. We have, we have that which is created in the image and likeness of God. Now, I do believe that in a sense, pets also have uh, souls as I define it here, that being the emotional center of a person's existence or a pet's existence. Pets have emotions. Uh, pets have uh, uh, strong attachments to their owners. You see all these videos that are appearing today of pets being reunited with deployed soldiers. And it's very clear, they're very happy to see the soldier return home. They remember. But now the question becomes, what does, uh, differentiates them from humans? And that is pets do not have souls in the sense that a man has a soul. You see, we are created with spirits that have been created in the image and likeness of God. That's what separates us from the animal world. But when creation was spoiled, when man fell, so did the animal world, so did, cre so did creation around us. That's why we have tornadoes and hurricanes and disasters and earthquakes. All of those things are the earth pulsating for something new. Uh, we're looking for the recreation of the heavens and the earth the redemption of the heavens, the redemption of the earth. That's what the story of the Bible is all about from beginning to end. It is the story of reclamation. It's the story of God reclaiming the fallen estate. And so in that fallen estate, he talks about it actually in Isaiah chapter 11. Although this is imagery that he's using uh, of the last days, it's imagery that he's using to describe the last days, to describe life in this new creation, uh, it, it is, it, it's typified, or it's typifying, I should say, uh, the powers of government, the powers of the world, where wars and rumors of war are heard and experienced. So in Isaiah chapter 11, we have a hint 
um, where he talks about life in this reclaimed world, this redeemed or this fallen creation recreated uh, when God creates the heavens, the new heavens and the new earth. He says in Isaiah 11, verse six, the wolf shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat <clears throat> and the calf and the lion and the fatted calf together and a little child shall lead them. That of course is referencing Christ. The cow and the bear shall graze. Their young shall lie down together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in, in all of my holy mountain for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. That last verse indicates to us that this is picturing what the world will look like when all has been reclaimed and redeemed, when the fallen creation from Genesis is recreated according to Revelation. And so it refers to these animals sitting down together. So one thing that uh, I believe this is indicating to us is that there's a very real possibility, although we can't prove it from the scriptures here, since these are so symbolic, uh, there's a real possibility that in the new world, the new heaven and the new earth, animals are present. What would that mean pets? Well, one thing the Bible tells us about what life will be like in that world is there shall be no more sorrow, no more pain, no more heartache, no more death. And so we like to tell young children, whatever's going to make you happy in heaven, God is gonna put it there. But that's not proof, if you will. That's just a, I feel good about saying that, but I can't prove that from the scriptures. One thing I do know, there are creatures in heaven. There are creatures in this recreated world that sit down in the same way that they did before the fall. Uh, the lion with the lamb and the snakes and all the other things that he describes in Isaiah chapter 11. So generally speaking, I would say, although man and pets are different because man has a soul, a spirit created in the image and likeness of God and animals do not, uh, although the scripture does not prove that there is a place for pets in the new heavens and the new 